infinite chances and I wanted to show you the new customization pack released by Infinity Ward just a couple days ago. Uh, this is absolutely free if you go into the Xbox Live menu and go to store, go to customization packs and press on the Call of Duty Ghosts festive pack. Uh, the menu will come up and you can see that it is absolutely free. All right, right there on the total shows that it's free so may as well go get it who doesn't love free stuff especially around the holiday season. So um, what is included in this you will see there's a holiday sweater weapon camo, seasonally themed reticle, player card, background, and patch. So I'm going to show you guys those. If you go into your creator soldier, go to your squad member, and then you press X to customize, and go into the patch, and you'll see under DLC patches, there will be um, this cool uh, holiday patch, and it is a snowflake in the middle with a green circle and a red circle surrounding it. So that's pretty cool. It almost looks like a sniper scope. Uh, if you go to the background and player card, you'll see it's again. This is over in the DLC background. So if you try to get to it, you just press LB or RB to get over to it. Um, and it has the three white guns right in the middle. Then it has the green background and a red border. Now this kind of looks. Um, you can see if you look closely, it kind of looks like a sweater because. Um, you can see the bumps and grooves in the middle, so that's pretty cool how they added that texture to it. Uh, let's go to the actual um, the gun camo and reticle. So I made a class in private match to show you guys. Um, so we'll have the SA-805, the MTAR, and the USR. So on the SA-805, I throw in a VMR site, and all the sites are the same no matter what um, no matter what reticle you use. Or, sorry, no matter what site you use, unless of course you use the thermal or the tracker site, they're going to be, um, you're not going to be able to use the site on those. So let's go right in to the match. That way you guys can see what the guns look like with the camo on it. Um, these are some pretty commonly used guns, so I figured I would show it on these ones. Um, but so far I think that the camo is pretty cool, and so are the reticles. I think I might actually use the reticle. Now, it's different than Black Ops 2 in the sense that it's not a different reticle for different sites. Like, I know ACOG would be different than Red Dot, but they're actually all the same. So, let's start off with the SA-805. You can see the camo right away. It's pretty bright. Uh, you can see all the colors on it. It looks really nice. Um, when you zoom in on the uh, with the site, you'll see the snowflakes. I just give it one sec to load in. Alright, so if I aim down, squad. you can see the snowflake, that's pretty cool. And then even if I switch over to the other side, that's pretty cool. So I think I'm actually going to be using this a lot because um, it's pretty small, it's not too crazy a design, so you can actually aim at stuff. And, uh, that's pretty nice. Now when you see when you reload, you can see the whole side of the gun. And uh, you know, it, it comes out pretty nice. Uh, if you go, actually, want to take a better look at the reticle, you can go into a dark area. You can actually see it a lot better zoomed in. So it's it's nice. It's like a bluish, whitish, and if you move it around a little, it looks, uh, it has a little shine to it. So that's kind of cool. So I'm going to switch classes to the MTAR. Right, I'll just blow up with this Panzerfaust. <laughs> Alright, so here's the MTAR. Same thing when you aim down the sight, it's the exact same. Alright, so that's pretty cool. If you shoot off a times, reload. Let's get to somewhere where there's actually some light. Uh, tree in the way. There we go. So you can see it. This one, you can actually see the texture a lot better. You can see the design a little bit better than on the SA-805. And I know a lot of people use the MTAR, so this is pretty cool. Um, so, you know, the site again is the same. The other one had the VMR site, but this one's just a regular red dot site. Um, so this one comes out pretty nice. And then let's switch over to the USR. Alright, so I threw on the ACOG site just uh, so you'd be able to see it. And um, some people use the ACOG site. I haven't really tried out the ACOG site yet. Let's just shoot this down. Across here. Alright, so you can see the site pretty well, or the camo pretty well. And now, um,. Looks kind of funny near where the hand is holding onto the gun. You can see the grooves from the actual barrel, but um, I think it's pretty nice. Should I come back? Alright, so let's reload, and it really doesn't change too much. It doesn't give you much better of view. Uh, unfortunately, you can't see the side either. I'm assuming that'll be a little better because you don't have the bullets on the side. But um, you know, 
maybe it's not the best in the USR, but the MTAR comes out really nice. But uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, I, I just wanted to show you guys the new camo, and pretty glad that Infinity Ward decided to uh, do that, giving us a free camo. And I've I went into one game today, and I already saw pretty much everyone in the lobby using it. So hopefully you guys like this video. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe, share it around. Uh, I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video.